What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV. This is the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. This bike goes for about 15, 1600 bucks and it goes up to 28 miles per hour. So before we jump into all the specifics about this bike, let's first take a little test drive. All right, so now let's take a closer look at the bike. So first of all, you got your brakes, obviously. The brakes work fantastic, just like you would kind of expect. You do have gears, so there is, uh, if you, if you want to change the gears and make it easier or harder while you're using the electric motor or not, this does help a lot and it's nice to have that. Obviously, since this is a cruiser, the handlebars go all the way around, so it actually makes it quite comfortable, but this isn't something you're probably going, going to want to take off-roading at all here is the electronic system press and hold it to turn it on it'll give you your speed uh, what level of uh, pedal assist you're on and then also if you want to change all that all you do is just press this button up or down it goes up to five and it goes all the way down to zero zero will actually not be any pedal assist but the motor itself will be on here's the throttle so just to let you know with the throttle you're going to get up to 20 miles per hour, but with pedal assist, you can get up to 28 miles per hour. So this thing really, really cruises, no pun intended. It goes pretty fast overall. You also get your shocks down here, so it absorbs a lot of the bumps and all that stuff that you go through. When you wanna turn the lights on, there's a light back there. All you're gonna do is while the motor's on, you're gonna press and hold that plus sign, and it will turn the lights on and off. So you press and hold it to turn it on and off and you also get the light in the back as well, which is a very, very big help. Going around, you can see that this is where you turn it on and off. Um, so if you wanna kinda turn, uh, make sure no one's gonna steal your bike based off of the motor being on or off, You can. that's how you're gonna turn it on or off. You also, on the other side, are gonna be able to charge it. So when you wanna charge it up, baby, that's where you do is pull this out it comes with the charger, obviously, and that is also nice. Cool pedals, completely fine with me. I love the way the, the, the color of this looks. It's like a matte black. It's really, really cool stuff. Very much enjoying that. Nice, big, comfy seat. You also get this rack back here, so you can use it just as a rack or for an additional cost. I believe it's like 150, 160 bucks. You can actually throw on a uh, they have it there. It's like a padding basically. So you have another person that can sit on here, which potentially gives you the ability to have two people sitting on this. Or again, you could just use it as rack storage. So I love that it has all of that. They've given you the extra functionality. Get all this. Nice big fat tires as well. So overall, you know, a really nicely built bike. Okay, so the Cafe Cruiser, what do I like and not like about this bike? I'll be honest with you, I pretty much like everything about the bike. I really like the speed and the power of this bike. Being able to go up to 28 miles per hour on pedal assist and going up hills is very smooth, very comfortable. Um, one of the things I guess I wouldn't, it's not one of those bikes that you feel like you can bring absolutely everywhere. Now, if you're just doing street riding, I think you'll be absolutely fine. But once you want to take like a tight turn or like you want to just kind of maneuver it in a way, that's when it feels like it's kind of big and bulky. But hence the name Cafe Cruiser. This is one of those bikes that you would bring around to somewhere like a beach or like that kind of area. But you know, I'm not by the beach. I'm in this suburban type environment and it's going to work a great in that, that kind of area. And it goes super fast. Like I said, like I love the power of this whole thing. It's fantastic in that regard. Also keep in mind that very comfortable big boy seat. Handlebars, very comfortable as well. Brakes work great. As an overall electric bike, it's fantastic. 1500 bucks isn't that bad as well for what you're getting with this, with the speed, with the build quality, the brakes, 
the I love this back here so you can put on more storage if you want or attach another seat it's got a lot of things going for it so as long as you're okay with you know using this basically as a street riding bike I think you'll be pretty happy with it link down below if you want to pick it up thanks for watching and we'll see you down the road